Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Miss. Hey, good evening. Welcome, good evening, Maria. Teacher. Welcome, David. Welcome, Sulma. We got Jennifer. Okay, we only have four. We're going to wait for more, right? To connect today. How are you guys? Is everything good? Everything nice today on this Thursday? How was your day? You're all right? Yes? Brenda, welcome. So you had a good day today? Fatima, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. How was your day? Was it good? Very nice. Very you? nice. I'm very nice. Thank you for asking. Yes, today the weather has changed, right? The climate has changed. It has been like a little bit hot. No rains by this area. Yes. Yeah, true. Okay. To finish with this week, now we're going to have here some of the exercise, more exercise to continue practicing. And first we have this one. Let me emphasize it. In this exercise, we're going to work it like this. It says, give answers to these questions about your neighborhood. Then practice with the partner. So let's ask this. In number one, it says, is there much parking? Are there many apartment buildings? How much traffic is there? How many drugstores are there? Is there much noise? Are there many shopping malls? Is there much pollution? How many fast food restaurants are there? So we're going to begin then. Let's formulate this question. So remember about the areas in your neighborhood and how your neighborhood is. Now, tell me, David. Hi, David. Hi. Hey, David. All right, tell me about number one. Is there much parking in your neighborhood? Mm, or no. No? Not the reason. No. Not the reason. No. So you have problems to park your car or maybe a motorcycle or for some transportation? It's transportation. Was... Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. David, you select one of these questions and you are going to ask Maria. Select the one that you prefer. Number five. Number five, okay, read the question, please. This tree moves is there, north. Is there much noise? Is there much noise? Very good, thank you, Maria. What's your answer? No, is there much noise? No, there isn't. No, there, there is isn't. Mm, no, there, there isn't, isn't much, much noise. noise. Much noise. Very good. Much Thank noise. you. Very good. That's nice. Sulma, you're going to select another question and please ask Fatima. Okay. Are there many shopping malls? Oh, that's good. Are there? Are there many shopping malls? Good. Fatima? Yes. There. Yes. There are. Yes. There are. Uh, yes, there are. Very good. That's a short answer. Very good job. Nice. Welcome, Betsaida. Welcome to the rest that you I just joined. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome to your session. All right. <laughs> now let's see. Fatima, select another question and now you ask Betsaida. Okay. Hi, Betsaida. How many fast food restaurants are, are there? Very good. We're talking about your neighborhood. Remember about your neighborhood. Okay. How many fast food restaurants in the neighborhood? Uh -huh. Are there in your neighborhood? Uh, are there in their neighborhood? Very good. Thank you. There are many restaurants. Excellent. Wow, you are lucky. <laughs> you are always hungry then. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Very good. All right. Wilfredo, welcome. Daniela, welcome. Who else we have? We have Brenda, Germán, Selena. Welcome, guys. Hey, Wilfredo. Select another question, please. You're going to ask the question to Daniela. 
Okay, teacher. Um, how much traffic is there? Mm -hmm. Okay, how much traffic is the... there? Or in your neighborhood, right? In your neighborhood. Right. Very good, thanks. Daniela? There is much traffic. There is a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Very good, George. Yeah, remember that when we use like a much, we use it for questions and the negatives. If you use much in an affirmative, it's like an informal manner to use it. Thank you. Very good. Freddie, are you here, Freddie? Freddie? Brenda? Brenda? Carolina? Hello, teacher. Hey, Brenda. Formulate a question, please. You are going to ask Germán. Germán, are you here? Okay. Germán? No. Estela? Yes. Yes, all right. Thank you. Okay, formulate the question, please. Okay. How many hospitals are there? All right. How many hospitals are there? Good one. I, I know there aren't. All right. Then it will be there aren't any hospitals. Uh, any hospitals. There aren't any hospitals. There aren't any hospitals. Hospitals. That's all right. Good one. Thank you. Good. Herman, are you there? No? Okay. Daisy, please, you're going to formulate the question to Claudia. Claudia, are you here? Claudia Cruz? No? Ever? Ever Jocil? Andrea? Yes. yes. All right. Listen to the question, please. From Daisy. Daisy, formulate it, please. How much? Brian, uh, in their. In you can their... formulate huh? from here. Use the, oh, okay. the ones that you have here. You select oh, okay. one from one to eight. Oh, okay. Is there more much pollution? All right, that's good. Is there much pollution in your neighborhood? Mm. Can I answer like I I can't? Mm. Remember that this one is existency. Mm -hmm. existency. Yes. Aha, yes, okay. there there is much much no, there is pollution in my neighborhood. Okay, very good. A lot of or a little? A little bit. Oh, lady. Okay, that's yeah. good. So you can answer like, uh, so if she's investigating it, is there much pollution or is there big quantity? Then you say, there is a little pollution. Yes, there is a little pollution. A little pollution. Very good. Thank you. All right. So after this exercise, let's go ahead on our next one. In this one, we have readings. Then we go to comprehension of this reading. Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Then we're going to read here about three parts in different parts of the world. Then we're going to check with um, to solve this reading part that we have in the comprehension. First, we have here hip neighborhoods of the world. Hip in means that they are like in fashion. So they are very popular. Let's see, the first one is Shimokitazawa in Tokyo. This is the place to be for fans of indie music. Head over to this creative neighborhood and discover record stores, concert halls, and theaters in the narrow streets. Shimokitazawa, or Shimokita for short, is a relaxed place full of young people who visit the cafes and live music venues. Every year, there is a theater festival here. 
It's a very popular place for students. It's an interesting place. All right, tell me, do you have new vocabulary from here? <clears throat> head over. Head over. When you mentioned to head over, this one, it means like go or diríjase a, ah, dirígete a. Ah. It's like go or visit. That means head over. What the mini narrow? Narrow. Narrow is the contrary than a spacious place. So that means estrecho. It's like when you go to Paseo El Carmen, they have narrow streets. They are not like very big streets. But in those narrow streets, that you can find many places, right? You can have cafes, you have restaurants, you have bars, stores. So they are no spacious places. Thank you. You're very welcome. What is that meaning? Theater. Theater. Teatro. Teatro. Any other one? Any other question? Concert house. Concert house. Concert, Concert house. Concert house. Con casas de concierto. It's like a, there are some specific places or houses that they are destined to give concerts. Okay, let's go ahead on the next reading. Music venues. Music, music venues. When you talk about music venues, these ones are like a, a stores, but of music. So you can find music there. Tiendas de música. So you okay. can find CDs, you can find whatever you want about music. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? All right, let's move to the next one. We have two more. In the B, we have Pigneto in Rome. It says La Sapienza. A famous college in Rome is near this neighborhood. It's an extremely cool place to hang out. Pigneto has a huge choice of restaurants, cafes, and ice cream stores. Pigneto is famous for its nightlife. As you walk around, you hear electronic music coming from different clubs. People also come here for the Nuovo Cinema Aquila, the best place to see indie movies from around the world. That's another cool place. But this one is in Rome. New vocabulary? Nightlife. I'm sorry? Nightlife. Nightlife. All right. This one is a compound word. What is night? Noche. Very good. And life? Eh, vida. Aha. Uh -huh, that's good. You put together, that means vida nocturna. Um, okay. uh -huh, that's why it's a compound word. You know, there are many places around that they are touristic places. For example, now Centro Histórico, it has transformed into a nightlife place because wow you can go there in the day but you can also go in the in the night yes <laughs> also Paseo del Carmen right in Santa Tecla they have an area where they there is nightlife there people are there very late in the night okay thank you teacher. you're welcome any other question yes uh, hang out Oh, hang out. Hang yes. out means when you go to a place, let's suppose that you want to go uh, to go out with your friends. You don't go out with your friends because you're going to study sometimes. Sometimes you have a reunion with them, uh, maybe serious for something special. But in some other cases, you just got to have fun. That means how, uh, hang out. Es para irse a relajar. Not to do something different. Not to something serious. Es salir para relajarse. 
para divertirse. Any other one? All right, this one was in Rome. Let's see the next one. Roma Norte, Mexico City. It says, this place is popular with artists, students, tourists, and musicians. Feeling hungry? Go to a huge food market, Mercado Roma. To taste delicious ceviche, squid torta, and other Mexican specialties. Next, check out the trendy restaurants for dinner or shop for beautiful fashion items in the boutiques. There are hip t-shirts and sneakers for sale everywhere. There's locally made jewelry you can buy too. That's another good place. New vocabulary. For example, we have one here that is not very common, that is squid, squid torta. Squid is a sea animal. This one is a squid. So they make tortas with this animal, calamar. Mm. Can you imagine? Do you think it's delicious? I mean, it must be, right? Actually, they put a squid in a soup. Right? In seafood soup, right? Like mariscada, it's included. Squid is included there. So it doesn't look very nice, but it's good to taste it, right? Actually, it's very soft, like that. You have any other words? In your line, it's in, in your which line. One? You don't like it? You don't like squid? No mariscada? You don't like mariscada? No animals, no. Oh, okay. So you are a vegan person. Are you vegan? You don't eat animals? No, this animal. This. Oh, this is this animal in a special. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any other question here? No, miss. No? Thank you. No. Thank you. Okay, now let's go ahead here. We have the exercise. This one is about comprehension. So let's remember what we read. We are going to write here the letter. If you have, you find that vocabulary in that reading. For example, local jewelry. Where do you remember was it? Where can you find this local jewelry? Uh -huh, good. In what of the options? A, B, or C? C. C, excellent. So you find it in letter C, right? That's correct. So the place was this one. Let's put here the letter. That's letter C. What about festivals? Where can we find or see festivals? Remember? I. Which one? I. Letter A? A? Yeah, yeah a. this one, right? Oh. Ah, that's correct. Yes, yeah, you can find festivals here. That is all right. Here it says uh, theater festival here. That's correct. So that's letter A. You can find A. What about in D, movies? In which one it mentioned it? B. B, right? And this one is mentioned in this one. It's correct because Nuovo, yeah, the Cinema Killer. Then you can find indie movies from around the world. That's all right. Good one. Okay, so that one is B. What about number four? Record stores. B. B. Can you find record stores here? 
extremely cool place to hang out, nightlife, music. Yes, is it in this part? You sure? What about this one? Oh. In the music. Yeah. Yes, here. So it's part A. What's in the music? Well, this kind of music is like alternative, independent music, independent groups. What groups can you mention as in the music? You remember? Also like um, alternative rock, it will be a good example, right? Of that, como el rock alternativo. So it is alternative music. What about food specialties? Where can we find this? C. It's in C, exactly. Talking about the popular squid tortas. Yes, so that's letter C. Letter C, very good. What about a college? Where can we find a college? Letter B. Letter B, that's great. Excellent. What about seven? Where can we find theaters? B. Letter A. Letter A. A. Oh, we can find, yes, in theaters, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Let's write it here. And the last one, eight. Where can we find ice cream? B. That's in B, right? Yeah, that's right, of course. Ice cream stores that we have. Excellent, that's right. That's in B. Excellent. Right. Okay. Now let's move to another part. Tell me, what's your favorite neighborhood in your city or country? Let's say that. What's your favorite neighborhood in your city or maybe eh, in El Salvador? San Marcos, teacher. San Marcos. Oh, okay. Do you live? Have yeah. Do you, do you live there? Oh, I have family yeah. there. They live in San Marcos. <laughs> eh? Good. <laughs> so why do you like San Marcos? I like that. Uh, accessible. Every, it's accessible? Yeah. Everything. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like a city, right? Yeah. You have everything the there. I take one microbus. Uh, one minibus? Uh-huh. You take one minibus? Mini bus. All right. I go to Metro Centro. Ah. Mm. El Centro Histórico. Yes. Um, the Mercado. <laughs> to the market. So you can move yeah. there very fast, right? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Very accessible. It's very accessible, right? Thank you. Very good. Estela, what about you? What's your favorite neighborhood in your city or country? Estela, hello, she's not there. Hi. Hello, Stella. What's your favorite neighborhood? Um, I know what it's there. Uh -huh. No, thank you. You don't have a favorite one? Mm -hmm. Any any place? No? Or no. what, do, what do you like to do in your neighborhood? What are the activities? Because in some cases you have a park or there is maybe right uh, another place that you can visit. There are restaurants. Yeah, the restaurant and the park and mm -hmm. the... Okay. News. So you go to the park? Yes. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Freddie, what about you? Now, tell us 
um, about this. What is interesting about your neighborhood? Mm. Restaurant. The restaurants, they, of course, right? Restaurants are always interesting because food is delicious, of course. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. That's nice. So, how many restaurants do you have there in your neighborhood? Are there a lot of restaurants or a few restaurants? A lot of. A lot of. Lot. You have a lot of restaurants. Excellent. That's right. Thank you for sharing then. Okay. Let's continue with our next activity. All right. Now, let's see here about this exercise. Remember that? You have this one, right? This part in the platform. Did you finish it? Yes, yes. you finish it. Okay, yes, cool. Yes. Nice. Now, the next one is about the reading. Basically, it's the last part, the final part of this to complete it. But let's read it. We're going to begin here. Selena? Are you here, Selena? Yes. All right. Can you please read this part? The sidewalks. The sidewalks are crowded. 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 With Indian women. 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 And women. Colorful. Women. Women. In colorful. Traditional. Traditional dress. Traditional dress. Traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling uh -huh. Chinese cake. Good. Mm -hmm. A I new know. song from a Romanian band is playing a restaurant. Thank you. Very good. Let's see. Continue. Wendy, are you pressing Wendy? Wendy Adamaris. Okay. Yes. All right. Can you please continue? Is it? Oh, okay. Can you see it? Lo puede ver bien. Puede ver bien ahora la pantalla. No? Not very much? No. Okay. Maybe later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wilfredo, continue, okay. please. This is it, India. <laughs> is it India? Okay. China. Oh. China? Romania. Romania. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's. No, it's Astoria. Uh huh. And a neighborhood in Queens, New York uh -huh. City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area. Uh huh is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving, moving, are moving in. in. Very good. Thank you. That's right. Good. Do you have new vocabulary? Changing fast, fast. Which one? Changing fast. Changing fast. Oh, changing fast. That means it it is not like uh, in the same form, but it transforms. Está cambiando rápido. It's changing fast. You know, as this one is mentioning, that is a multicultural place because many people from around the world they are moving to that place they have different typical food because well there are many uh, kinds of people there so different kind of food also different type of stores so it's very very multicultural here any other words mostly Mostly, when you talk about mostly, that means principalmente, o más que todo. 
Astoria was once a mostly Greek. Astoria fue en una, en una ocasión uh, un barrio o una colonia más que todo griega. So that was the origin. But the area is changing fast. So as there are many people, right, that they are living there, they are living or moving to that place. Now it's, it's different cultures there. Any other words, other question? Okay, we have more about the reading. Let's see point number two. Daisy, can you continue, please? The mm -hmm. microphone. Yes. Traditions. The new, oh. the new resident. Ah, okay. The new residents bring many traditions. This tradition blend together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded, surrounded, surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like. Says one resident. Says one resident. Says, says, says one, one resident. resident. Thank you very much. Very good, William. Continue, please. This part here. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korea grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue. Jennifer? Hi, Jennifer. Can you listen to us, Jennifer? No? Brenda? Yes, it is. Yes, help us, please. Brenda Carolina, number three. It isn't? It, it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. Mm -hmm. The rents are reasonable. Reasonable? The neighbor. The neighborhood? Sorry, teacher. The neighborhood? The neighborhood. The neighborhood is safe and it it has very good public transportation. Thank you. Very good job. Nice. Marvin. Hi. Hey, hey, there, Marvin. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, there are inexpensive stores. Uh -huh. That's right. Stores. Stores. Many nice restaurants and good fresh fruit. And vegetables. Vegetable. 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 Markets. Market. And Astoria is a comfort type com comfortable. Com comfortable? <laughs> comfortable? Comfortable. Good. Yes. Go comfortable place to live. Right. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As yes. long as, as one? one long as one long time residents say. Says, 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 says. Why live? Why live anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Astoria has it all. Thank Harry you Fox. very much. Has it all. Very good. Thank you. Nice. All right. Tell me, do you have new vocabulary from here? What do you mean is surrounded? Surrounded. That means rodeado. So when people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like. And that's true. We adopt the things that we like, even though we are not natives from that. Any other question? Blend. Blend. Well, this one only blend, if you talk about this one, it means liquefy. That means liquor. But this is a phrase. When you say blend together, that means se mezclan. Blend together. Okay. 
Any other question? More vocabulary? Um, roomy? Roomy. Yeah. Roomy, I think, is by this area, right? Public transportation, inexpensive, many restaurants. Roomy. This one, right? Apartments are usually big. Roomy, that means that they have a lot of space. Espaciosos, amplios. Roomy. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. More questions? Surprising. Surprising. Sorprendente. So it isn't surprising that the story is becoming a very popular place to live. So many people want to live there. They are moving to that place. More questions? All right. Remember, we got the exercise in the platform just to check. Let's see which ones are mentioned. Tell me which ones they mentioned in the reading to check the comprehension. Inexpensive stores? Yes. Mention, right? What about big apartment? Yes. Yes, very good. No. What about good schools? No. No, he doesn't mention that. That's good. What about beautiful beaches? Bueno, aquí fue uh, algo de edición. You don't write it like that. Look, because it says beautiful, and that is not. It's beautiful. Hay hubo error de edición. That's beautiful. Does it mention that beautiful mention. beaches? No, right? It doesn't no. mention. Good. Great markets. Yes. No. yes. Does it mention? Yeah. Yes. It sure. mentioned. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What about nice restaurants yes yes, yes. yes it mentioned yes. that's good many different cultures yes, yes. yeah yes. that's very good what about interesting old buildings no it no. doesn't mention correct good public transportation yes yes, yes. yes. very yes. good it mentioned so only three doesn't mention in the reading great one okay now let's go ahead then with general review, section one, two, and three, to remember here about those. Let's have here this one. To begin and remember about the past. Let's have some discussion. How good is your memory? Let's check. It says, do you remember what you did yesterday? We're going to check the things you did, then add two other things you did. For example, Got up early. All of these phrases are in simple past. Wilfredo, tell us. Did you get up early yesterday? Uh, yes, I'm sure. You did. Okay. So tell me, I got up early yesterday. I got up. Early? I got up early yesterday. Yesterday. Very good. Daisy, what about you? Tell me. One of these. One of these activities that probably you did, and tell me a complete sentence. I exercised, I texted a friend, I went to class. I went the laundry, did the laundry. Ah, okay, very good. I did the laundry yesterday. Right, very good. Thank you. Uh, Sulma, tell us one activity you did yesterday. Oh, I went to class. I went to class. All right. Very good. That's nice. Estela. Estela. Fatima. Yes, I did the dishes yesterday. You did the dishes yesterday. All right. That's good. Okay. What other things? Daniela. Went shopping. You went shopping. Very good. And where did you go shopping? It in your neighborhood or you went to a, a longer distance? A longer distance. A longer distance. Okay, very good. Thank you. What about you, Eric? What activities from here you did yesterday? Eric? I walked. Uh, you walked? You walked yesterday? 
Yes. Yes. Where did you walk? In your neighborhood, at the park, or where? In the park. In the park. All right. Thank you. Let's see, David. David Moises. Present. Hello, boy. Present. Tell us, please. Share us what you did yesterday. Ride a bike in the park. Okay, so you rode a bike. In the past, will be I rode a bike. It will be I rode like, a bike. Very good. I rode a bike. Where? Where did you ride the bike? In the park, in your neighborhood. In the park. In the park. Very good. So it's I rode a bike in the park. Thank you. Let's continue then with Raquel. Raquel. Hey. Hello, girl. Tell us one activity, please, that you did yesterday. I went to bed late, teacher. Ah, really? What time did you go to bed? Um, 11 p.m. At 11? So what did you do? You're doing like homework? Um, or working um, on the platform, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because my son is, was I forget uh, I forgot how how do you say informe in English? Informe. I forgot it. Informe. Report. Enferme. Where me? Informe or uniforme? No. My son my son was uh -huh. enfermo. Oh, I heard you said, I heard you said inform him. Sorry. <laughs> he was sick. My son was sick. Oh, he was sick. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry. But he's taking medicine. Sorry, teacher. He's taking medicine. Yes. Ah, okay. So now he, it's better, right? That's right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Let's continue then with another exercise that I got here. Let's erase this. Okay, now in this one, also we have like a blog. Do you like blogs? Like websites? Websites in the ones you can read information, right? Sometimes uh, people publish also some information, whatever they want to talk about. Now, we're going to read this one. Roberto, are you present? Roberto Carlos? Hello. Hello, Roberto. Can you help us read this part, please? This one is a travel blog. So we listen to somebody there talking about a, a trip that took. Greetings. Greeting. We're reading from SUNY. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having, having I'm having a great time. A great time. A great time. Yesterday I took a tour of the old town. Town of the old town. Of the old town. Mm -hmm. The buildings. The building and monument were were amazing. 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 Good. This morning. This morning I went swimming and snorkeling. 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 Very good. Thank you, Eric. Continue, please. Thank you very much, Robert. Then I went shopping at one of the, the, the town the towns open market. I bought I bought a very beautiful I bought a very a very beautiful handmade ceramic base and tried the famous fish. Famous fish. Famous fish on a stick delicious. Delicious. Good. I having a really great vacation. Casey. 
Very good. So Casey is the girl who's writing it, right? Thank you so much. Very good. Tell me, new vocabulary. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings are like this. When you say hello, goodbye, good night, those are greetings. Saludos. That's why it's greetings from sunny Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Sunny means sunny. Sunny is when there is a lot of sun. Soleado. So it's okay. not rainy. It's sunny. It's not cloudy. It's uh -huh. sunny. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. The snorkeling. It's not clean. It's not clean. It's this activity. This one. That's when you are going to basically dive and you wear snorkels. These ones are snorkels, right? So you use your Googles also. This is the yeah. activity. Mm -hmm. That's a snorkeling. Porque utilizan snorkels para andar bajo el agua. They use these ones, right? Because they need to breathe very well para poder respirar bien. So those are the snorkels and these ones are the Googles. You know, for that reason is that Google, the famous application to investigate is called Google because you need Googles to investigate under the water. You need to investigate and see, observe very well. That's why they are called Google. Any other word? Ceramic base is this one, but it is handmade. What is handmade? Hecho mano. Exactly. Actually, here we Ceramic. have. Uh -huh, but it's handmade. It's especially made with the hands. It's hecho a mano. Y base. Ceramic base. base? Uh, is this one. Es, es un jarrón. Okay. It's a ceramic base. So only base, okay. it means it's un jarrón. Yes. Ceramic yes. is the material. Okay. Any other one? Stick. Sorry? Stick. Stick. Oh, is this one, right? Efficient stick. Well, normally, when you talk about a stick, eh, do you like... Choco banano in pincho. Yes. Yes. With, cho okay. with chocolate. And with chocolate, especially. Fruit, also, normally with, they put, uh huh. Fruit and chocolate. With fruit and chocolate, uh huh. Yeah. So that is a stick. It's the yeah. thing that they use, like to put the fruit, because also it can be strawberry, right? In many of the cases, they put the strawberry on a stick. So they can put also that. Um, there are some places here in El Salvador that they also put a stick and they put beef, la carne asada. Have you noticed? There are some places that they put the stick and they put the food there. Is similar to topping? Topping. Yes, it's similar. Mm -hmm. The topping, the uh -huh. one they use in pincho. Yeah. Ah, but what happened is that a stick is different. A stick es el, es el pincho, uh -huh. el palillo. Ah, y el topping okay. es lo que va, por eso es topping, Sobre. que va encima. El okay. eh, que puede ser maní, puede ser un tipo de dulce. ¿Qué más le agregan? Le agregan creo que crisp también, ¿verdad? Galleta. Todos esos son, o galleta, de use cookies, delicious. Todos esos son, son toppings porque van encima de, van arriba de. Y stick is Stick es el palillo, que le llamamos pincho aquí también. Se lleva, por ejemplo, el que va con meat and ah, pineapple. Ah, ah, yes, it's true, yes. So, eso es, eso es un palillo. Okay. Es, sí. es un palillo. That's a stick. Lo que sea que sea un, pal, un palito es stick. That's a stick. Any other question here? Okay, we're going to pass the oh, list, guys. Sense. Tell me. No? Okay. No, let's... thank you, Miss. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Mm -hmm. We're going to pass the list. So let me know that you are present, please. Let's begin. Claudia? 
Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. No. Raquel Esther. No. Present teacher. Thank you, Rachel. Marvin Vitalicio. Present, Miss. Thank you, Marvin. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you so much. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay. Daisy Estefanía. Present teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Diana Jan Millet. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fatima Larisa. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Julia. Wendy Adamaris. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Maria Mercedes. Present, Miss. Thank you, Maria. Wilfredo Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. Zulma Natividad. I'm here. Thank you. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Pablo Alejandro. <clears throat> Pablo Alejandro, Jennifer Saraí, no, Jennifer Saraí, thank you Jennifer, Freddy Ernesto, thank you, Betsaida Jasmine, present, thanks Betsaida, Estela Guadalupe, present, thank you Estela, David Moisés, present, Thank you. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thanks a lot. Ever Jaciel. Present. Thank you, Present teacher. Thank you. It's raining a lot. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> Sorry. It's raining. Cats and dogs. <laughs> Thank you, Ever. <laughs> Herman Ulises. Okay. Herman Ulises. Herman. Eric Ronaldo. Present, Miss. Thank you, Eric. Roberto Carlos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Robert. Selena Yamilet. Teacher, Ulises acaba de escribir. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Selena Yamilet. Present, Miss. Thank you, Selena. Thank you so much, guys. I mentioned everybody, right? A todos los mencioné. I mentioned everybody. Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got then this reading part. Now, we can remember, we saw about the simple past. Now let's remember about some of the directions. And let's see, how do we play with this? It says, what's your neighborhood like? Let's just speak about this. We are going to ask some questions, right? For example, like this. Let me mark it from here. Okay. It says, ask questions about your partner's map. But don't look, he says. But let's practice it here. We need to see the map here. Are there any gas stations in the neighborhood? Selena? Yes, there. Okay, go ahead. Marvin? Yes, there is. All right. Any gas stations? How many? Oh, uh, let's check. There, there, there is one. Ah, very good. If one is here and the other one is here, right? Oh. Right? So there are two. Two. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? Uh-huh, good. I see. I, I, I'm good. thinking I think only um, in the map, in my oh. map. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Look at this uh -huh. one. Look at this map. So it's like, like here, right? It says, are there any gas stations in the neighborhood? Yes, there are two. Yeah. There's yeah. one on the corner of Center Street and First Avenue. That's referring to this one. Center Street and First Avenue is referring that is on the corner of those areas. And then it says that one on Center Street, 
which is here, across from the park, right? Across from the park. So we have the gas station here. You cross the street or across from the park, you got the other gas station. Now, let's ask for other questions. And Wilfredo, you formulate another question. Investigate about, follow the model. If you want to ask, um, are there any pupuserias in the neighborhood? You said like the one that you want. You are going to ask Selena. Hi, Selena. How many pupuseria are there in pupuserias, your neighborhood? Pupuserias, pupuserias are there. Are but look there. at the map. It's according to the map. In this map. Okay. Yes. According to the picture. The map that you see, can see here. So how many pupuserias? How many pupuserias uh -huh. are there uh -huh. in your neighborhood? All right, that's good. Okay, suppose that this is your neighborhood. Yes, there is. But how many? He investigates how many? The quantity. Uh, is there is or there are? There is. Is only one? Only one pupuseria in your neighborhood? There are. There ah, are. Very good. Okay. Two there pupuserias. are two pupuserias. Very good job. That's nice. Great. Okay. Now let's see. Maria, formulate another question, please. And you are going to ask Roberto. Roberto, are you present? Roberto Carlos? No. Then help us. Then Daniela. Daniela, uh -huh. um, Daniela, are there uh -huh. any post office uh -huh. in post the neighbor, neighbor, neighborhood, or? neighborhood? Right. Okay. Post offices, because it's plural, right? Are there any post, post office. offices? Very good. Repeat it, Maria, please. Are there? Are there? Uh-huh. Excuse me, Miss. Are there any? I they and are, they, I are there, there any uh -huh. post office in offices? the neighborhood? Offices? offices offices in the neighborhood? That's all right. Very good. All right. Answer. Yes, there are two post office. Offices? Offices. Uh -huh. uh, one on the corner. No, no uh -huh. two. Okay. There are two. One. There are two on the corner of First Avenue. On the corner of First Avenue. First Avenue. All right. Avenue. Okay. That's good okay. because one is here, right? First Avenue. Here is another one. That's First Avenue. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. That's all right. Good. Daisy. You are going to formulate the question to Claudia. Claudia Cruz, are you present? Claudia, no? Raquel? Sí. Yes, okay. Listen to the question, please. Are there any libraries mm -hmm. in the neighborhood? Great job, nice. Yes, there are uh -huh. any libraries yes. in. Yes, there are. The How many? You need to mention the quantity. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, there are two ah, okay. library, libraries. Libraries? libraries in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. That's all right. Good. Can you give us one direction here of this library? There are two. There are. Two on Second Avenue and Central Street. And Central Street. Second Avenue, Second Avenue also here and Center Street. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Good. Diana Young Millet. Diana. Then let's see. Eric, formulate another question. Then 
you ask William. Tell me. Go ahead, Eric. Hi, William. Are there any park in the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Are there any parks? Are there any parks? Are there any parks in the neighborhood? That's right. Good. Okay. Supposedly that this is your map, right? Is just the first or the second two? Uh -huh, it can be one. Okay. You can like select one. Suppose that this one is your map. Oh, okay. Okay. Select yes. one map. Yes. Is one park between First Avenue and Center Street. And Center Street. That's all right. Great. Okay. Then we have one. Thank you. That's good. Solva, continue. You're going to formulate the question now to, let's see, to Wilfredo. The question. It can be, here, um, are there are there any? That's according okay. to the picture. Are there any, any park in this neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Any parks? Are there any parks in this neighborhood? All right. So this one is, this one is your map. Okay. Uh, yes, there is. There is uh, one park. Okay, very good. What will be the direction? There is one. Uh, the park is between First Avenue and uh -huh. Second Avenue. And Second Avenue, very good address. That's nice direction, that's great. Okay, in this form, we reviewed here these sections and we're going to continue on Monday there. Any question? Just one. Tell me. Uh, uh, what part of the platform we have to to finish? Until section three. Okay, section, section three. three. But remember that also you need to finish the midterm, the test. Okay, and I have another question about the, the question that I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. About they, or? The certificates. The certificates. Yes, they told me that they still continue collecting the whole information for the group. Todavía están revisando como toda la información de todo el grupo para poder ser los. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Just I want to know. Thank All you, right. teacher. Thank you. Really, thank you. Uh, thank for, you so much. Yes. Charlie? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, for for different groups. It's I'm the sorry? same question. It's the same question from William for the certificates. Yes. So there is, uh, they are collecting uh, the certificates for different groups. For different groups. So they are taking time to do that. They say that if they mm -hmm. have the complete information in, in your group, then mm -hmm. they are going to send you the certificate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank That's you. That's why. Thank you. Any other question? All right. Thank you guys so much. Happy weekend. Relax. Take time to relax a little bit. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you guys. Enjoy Thank your you. weekend and Thank see you on Monday. Happy yeah. weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. You too. Thank you. Have a nice night. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Good night. Take care. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Good night. Good night. Take care.